Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. I am back with my another recipe today. It's very simple, very quick and made with just basic ingredients. So today my recipe is chana gosht. So let's start making it. I have two tablespoon of oil, canola oil, and I'm using medium sized onion. So first of all, I'm just gonna fry my onion. Now I'm adding, since the onion is just a, a little bit of fried, I'm just going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And together with my ginger garlic paste, I am adding one and a half pound of beef, uh, including with four aloo bukharas. If you don't have aloo bukharas, it's okay, just don't add it. It just gives more taste. I'm adding half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of red chili powder, and one tablespoon of coriander. I just started to fry and it's uh, good. I am using frozen pre-boiled chana. If you are using soaked chana, uh, this is the perfect time to add it and give it a, a whistle. But since I'm using the pre-boiled frozen chana, so I'm just going to add it after. This time, this is the time to add water. for at least two whistles for the meat to cook. Please don't add too much water. As you can see the level of water, it's not too much. So I'm just gonna cover it now and leave it for two whistles. Okay, so after two whistles, my beef korma is ready. Beef is nicely tender. This is three cups of boiled chana, pre-boiled, frozen. So I'm just using three cups. It's cooked. I don't need to cook it really much. So I just have to give it a quick boil just to have more taste and mix with korma and meat. So I'm just going to give it a quick boil and then it's ready. It's ready, a quick boil is done. I'm just gonna serve it. It smells amazing. 